channel if you're new here welcome to my channel and I'm on a trip so today I'll be doing a review video for you guys I'll be reviewing my old faithful coach wristlet and my newfound love the mulberry wallet and chain purse um, this has been one of my highly requested videos from my subscribers which are 200 strong so woo -woo, giving you a shout out to thank you so much for the love and support but you guys after you guys saw my Christmas haul video you guys wanted me to do a review of the, the items that I got so if you're just new to this channel and you're here because of the bags you can check my Christmas haul video I'll leave it in the description tab and I'll also tag it somewhere here you can check that out afterwards I'm also going to include the timestamps so if you're just interested in the coach um, wallet I'm going to leave a timestamp for that. I'm also going to give you my review for the Mulberry Wallet and Chain. And I'm also going to tell you at the end if I think this was worth the upgrade. If the Mulberry was worth the upgrade. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for that. And if you just want to watch the whole content, can you like my vibe and ting ting ting? <laughs> um, just stay tuned for that as well. Thank you so much for watching. And let's just pre the intro. Keep on, keep on saying pre the intro. Don't click through the intro, but we're going to pre the intro and then we're going to get into the nitty gritty and you're going to hear my review on these two um, brands and these two wallets. <laughs> we have our coach wristlet this is like my old faithful so I've had this since 2016 so that's like what four years um I bought this at Macy's because um, you know Macy's is my store <laughs> I am not a bag person or yeah I'm not a bag person um so for me the smaller the bag is the better um, I don't believe in taking my whole bathroom in my bag or taking my whole bathroom with me. So I like wristlets and, and wallets and purses. Like sometimes I don't even bring a wristlet or a wallet because I don't really need it. <laughs> but this you're a lady and you kind of need it. So that's the story of my life. So I have been everywhere with this bag. Um, this has this bag has been with me has gone with me to Timbuktu and back it has seen many tears it has seen many smiles it has seen many rainy days sunshine the works um, literally it has seen many bathrooms <laughs> so let me go into the specs real quick so on the, the exterior it's made of uh, um, pebble leather I've seen the color green uh, in terms of dimension it is uh, seven and a half inches wide it is four and three quarter inches in terms of the height and the depth is half inches this bag fits just about every single thing it has a um, mean zip closure which for me is pretty smooth I've never had any issues with this um, it has a detachable strap I find to be very awesome sauce and convenient so if you want to be hands-free you can easily strap this on on your your belt loop or you can put it on one of the one of your bags like for me, when I travel sometimes, my bag is so stuffed <laughs> that I have to like um, attach this on the outside of the bag, um, on, on the handles of the bag. So I find that it's super convenient for that. Uh, in the inside, you wanna see inside? <laughs> you wanna see what's going on inside? Um, it has a main opening and not usually what I find with some of the wristlets it's just one big bag there's no like different 
compartments or section but this does have two credit card slots and even though it has two credit card slots the um the space isn't that snug um one of the slots can actually hold four to five credit cards um and i actually use the other slot for my coins because one of the things that bugged me about this bag is that even though it's big and it can hold a lot of stuff if you have a phone and you have other other things in the bag the coins that you have will get lost or trapped underneath so when you go to make a purchase and you're looking change it's like you have to take out everything out of the bag just to find the, the coin and i didn't like that pretty much so i just decided to put it in put the coins where a credit card should be but yeah this bag or this purse can fit a lot of stuff it can fit your phone it can fit your keys it can fit your your lipstick or your chopstick um it can fit your receipts if you're about that paper receipt life if you're about the paperless receipt life you don't need to worry about that um as it relates to your currency your cash you have to like fold it in half which is not such a bad thing um you have to fold it in half i have no problem it's not a big deal that my my cash is folded in half but you you have to fold it in half in order for it to fit in the bag or you can get a smaller um card holder or a smaller purse or wallet and put it in if you are about that life if you want to be a little bit extra in terms of the straps the straps are leather it has silver hardware uh for me one of my words is that the hardware will will change color mine has changed color i'm gonna show you it's it's four years it has changed color uh on a the small details that I really like about this bag is that on the wristlet, um, on the straps that connect in the wristlet, it has the coach name actually engraved. And if you open the bag where the credit card slots are, you have the coach name actually stitched in and finally you have another coach here so why i um the faults of the bag or the issues that i have with the bag have none the stitching help um is pretty good the stitching is intact people like this is not like loose or anything there's no loose thing about it it's well sewn it's a well-made bag however with that said the silver hardware there is some discoloration um the straps there is some discoloration um it's stripping and also if you look close to on the bag you can see i don't know if it's i think it's stripping um which i don't i i I have no problem with it well I have a problem with it stripping the color stripping but I don't have a problem with the fact that um, after a while the leather is going to have some wear and tear and the coolest thing about having a pebble leather situation is that it's not as visible and also I think that wear and tear gives it character so um yeah the that's just the review of the coach wristlet Alright guys, so now for the Mulberry Wallet on Chain purse review. Um, this was a Christmas gift to myself. Uh, I bought this from the Mulberry website. Initially, um, when I was making my purchase, I was using my mobile device. And it, when I was about to make the purchase, the website told me that it was unavailable so i eventually went on my laptop um and went on the website and it was available on my laptop i wasn't even sure if i was going to get this because i found it quite strange that i was unable to make the purchase or it said it was unavailable on my mobile device but on my laptop it was available so i wasn't sure if it was going to come but it came and it came in time for christmas I had made a purchase um, 
Saturday, I guess the Saturday evening before Christmas Day. And uh, yeah, it came in time. I was I was literally looking for an email from them, waiting for an email for them to tell me that this was unavailable. But check out this purse. <laughs> check out this purse. Um, I love it so much. Like I fell in love with it. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But we won't get into that. We won't get into that. Um but I'm glad it came. I'm happy with the purchase. What did I just say? I'm happy with the purchase. <laughs> but let me just go into the specs with this purse so firstly it's made of croc leather um, it's in the color black it has two mulberry embossed studs at the front that's basically snapped on it has a um, silver hardware chain that is detachable um it's detachable completely from the purse which i find to be like awesome sauce so if you want to bring the purse by like carry just like this you can do that if you want to have the chain you can snap the chain back on i would say also just like with the coach wristlet this can be used as a wristlet my arm my wrist is pretty pretty small so it actually fits <laughs> no problem it can be hands-free just like that um if not you can easily attach this to like a bag um you can attach this to your belt loop um if you have that and be completely hands-free before i go inside the bag let me talk about the dimensions it's four and a half inches wide it's three and a half inches in terms of height and it's three quarters of an inch in terms of depth so in terms of the depth it's a little bit wider than the coach wristlet so let's go inside you snap it open you have four credit card slots I would say unlike the coach wristlet that has two but it has enough space it doesn't have a lot of space so you can fit for each credit card slot you probably can probably fit two to three three max um credit cards um however even though it has four credit card card slots you also have some other like little space areas where you can put your credit cards there so credit cards won't be an issue in terms of storage um it has a main gazette um and as you can see it can fit your lipstick um your chopstick if you have a key you can throw a key in there um little nice personal feminine items can go inside it has a area for your coins a zip area for your coins um the zip is kind of tight i'm not sure if it's tight because it's new but it doesn't it's not it doesn't flow as seamless you hear that yeah 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 uh-uh 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 <laughs> don't 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 watch me but anyway it's not as seamless um in terms of zipping <laughs> as the as the um coach but it could be because it's new um you can throw your coins in there i have not been using this for my coins i literally i'm using this for like my personal items like my like do you want to see do you want to see <laughs> um you know just put stuff that you don't want people to really see once you open your wristlet uh in terms of currency your currency has to be folded which is fine by me it's just the same like the wristlet and uh, another thing about this bag on the inside in the interior there is a not there's a tree the mulberry tree which is the mulberry signature it's inside the i don't know if you can see it though it's inside the bag i have uh, used this only once so i must make that conf confession i'm still using my old faithful 
I kind of have attachment issues, so please bear with me. But I'm basically going into event probably by within the next few weeks i will be wearing this i'll be using this a lot more so let me give my final thoughts on these two purses before i go ahead i should point out i probably should have pointed this out at the beginning but even though both of them are wallets and there are purses they serve two different purposes one is in the category of a wristlet and one is in the category of a compact wallet so there are various differences, um, distinct differences, um, just of that. Even though I'm going to do my best to compare both of them, it's going to be really hard because it's like I'm comparing apples to oranges. They're both fruits, but they're in two different categories. But I'm going to try my best to be as unbiased as possible. Also, I've had one a little bit longer, so... I can only speak about having this a little bit longer, using it a little bit more than this one, even though I feel like they are both um, good brands to have, and I think that in terms of durability, they should be able to last just as long as the, the mulberry should be able to last as long as the coach reset. So I have several different categories for them let me just go into um the ultimate showdown i'm gonna start off with the experience the buying experience and for me i'm going to give the buying experience to mulberry even though i bought this online the packaging was just super duper awesome it was seamless the website was really nice to use except for that little glitch with the mobile versus laptop um browser i found that i would definitely go back on the website again and make a purchase online i bought this in store i did not buy it from the coach website i did not buy it in a coach store the sales associate at macy's was pretty nice the packaging i got it in a regular box Actually, I don't even remember the box that it came in but I think it does come in a box so there's nothing to really be in awe about I have never bought anything from the coach website so I'm not sure if their packaging is different if you have bought something from them you can just go ahead and comment down below but I haven't bought anything anything directly from them in terms of functionality for me it's kind of even Steven because they are under two different categories so their functionality is based under those two different categories now if i was comparing the same types of wallets i could be a little bit more um i would say uh biased to one but i, I in in all fairness one is a wristlet one is a compact wallet they serve different functions i think that they do what they're supposed to do so i don't have an issue with the functionality of it in terms of durability this thing bam this coach wristlet i swear this is why it's my old faithful because it is durable they're both good brands they're both luxury brands one more luxurious than the other but i think they're both reputable brands um i think you will get your money's worth my hope is that this lasts for four years or more so i'm going to just say in terms of durability i think both of them will hold up pretty long uh in terms of design i am going to give it to mulberry on this one here I really, 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 I really like the design of this. Um, I'm just going to be honest. Also, I find that this is more of like a casual wallet um, to this. I think that this is more like a little bit classy, more my style than this. This is, this is pretty much, this is more casual. Um, and that's why I actually went for this because even though it's pretty compact, it looks a little bit more classy. It kind of fits 
my style a little bit more um and this just it, it, it it's i mean i've had it like four years now so you can tell that i was of a younger mindset back then so i i think this is more on the casual side this is something that i could take out to have to dinner and not feel any type of way this is something that i would probably carry to the mall so i'm going to give in terms of the design i'm hands down i'm going to give mulberry the design in terms of the price uh so one is more expensive than the other and i look at price or the price of an item based off if it's durable and if it does what it says it's supposed to do i think both does what it says it's supposed to do it's about preferences if you feel like something is worth it you pay for it if you feel like it's not worth it you go get something else it's as simple as that if we're looking at the raw dollar figure this does cost way more than this so <laughs> with that said do i think i made a good purchase do i think that the mulberry was an upgrade and i will say yes there are drawbacks to the mulberry one being that it is smaller but i think that the design makes up for the lack of volume or space right i think it makes up for that um i do love this however and if i was supposed to get another wristlet i would definitely get another coach wristlet. all right guys so tell me what you think do you prefer the coach wristlet or do you prefer the compact mulberry wallet and chain uh, i will be doing more review videos for the month of january so look out for that if you want to see what my upcoming review videos will be on check out my christmas haul thank you so much for watching and until the next time keep safe bye